So this last one here is what he calls the divine judgment defense, Mm -hmm. right? So this, again, is a version of the greater good defense, right? So uh, he says that there's a nagging question about the greater good defense, and it's uh, foregoing kin thus far (laughs) explored, right? All of its various relatives here that we've looked at. He says it's easy to see that much of the greater good that proceeds from evil has benefit for us. And this was raised a bit last time, right? Mm-hmm. So it's benefited for the believer. But what about Makes those? Makes my soul strong. That's right. <laughs> what about those who uh, who do not know God, right? Those whom God has not chosen to be recipients of any apparently greater goods, especially the extremely valuable good of redemption. What about mm-hmm. those folks, right? He says most will uh, tread a, you know, darkened path to eternal destruction, right? That's what uh, the broad road is in Matthew chapter 7, right? Okay. So where's the good in this, right? So that's the issue that he wants to, to deal with here, right. right? So that which is good must be defined by wider parameters than those set by distorted expectations that place a premium on universal maximum bliss for the human race at all costs. So uh, many live with this uh, kind of fatal belief that God's love obliges him to overlook our supposed uh, empiricals and and, and human foibles. He's just, oh, it's just a minor thing. We, we, we blaspheme God's name once it, it, it you know, it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> right. Oh, are, are you, are you, you know, a, 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 such a small person, God, that, that you took offense to this. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. <laughs> This common perception works especially hard to avoid an important response to evil, the ret- uh, retributive justice of God. Right. So, so part of evil is that God is, um, you know, is exercising his justice, right? That's the, that's the issue. Mm-hmm. And he suggests that people tend to overlook that, right? Because, you know, I'm not that. <laughs> right. It is not what that they bad. say. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> I'm not saying that, but I'm not, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so, so everyone has this idea of like, Oh, okay. So I, I J rock across the street and I'm thrown into jail for, for infinity number of years. Is, is that just, yeah. uh, but, and that's what he's going to deal with here. Right. Yeah. But you're also, you, you also don't want a God who, you have a serial killer that that murders and eats children for for, <laughs> for you know forty victims and that ju- that guy, that that judge to go. We all make mistakes, you know. He's yeah. not that bad, right, and right. and just moves on. We would say no, that's an unjust judge. So so is uh, are we saying that we we need something in the middle? Who's who's the Who's the, 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 the judge of the judge then? <laughs> you know, the judge is all the way down. <laughs> so this common perception uh, works especially hard to avoid an important response to evil, the retributive justice of God. We said we might call this response the divine judgment defense. Mm. Its premise is simple. The prevailing evil in the world, along with its uh, consequent suffering, is just divine punishment. It's the, the, the thing that happens because of the, the, those things happen extended to perpetuators of evil. The good that emerges here is focused not on human happiness, but on the vindication of divine righteousness. So right, it right. kind of says, well, what does it do for me? Well, I don't care what it does for you. Yeah. What does it do for God? It, yeah. it, it holds his character as being just and right. righteous there. And that is good. That is important, right? That God we, we reveals want that himself happen, right? yeah, <laughs> like this, right, through this particular right. evil, right? So it's not just, you know, all, you know, sunshine and roses, right? And that's what we should expect. No, if we've done wrong, we should expect justice to happen. If anybody's done wrong, we should expect right. justice to happen. God's ultimate hand of retribution is visited on unrepentant sinners, uh, at the day of judgment, that's when it ultimately happens, when they will incur everlasting punishment, right? So God is glorified not only in salvation and redemption and that sort of thing, but also in damnation as well. Salvation serves to uh, exemplify his grace and mercy as, are, you know, particular manifestations of his love. Damnation exemplifies his justice as a u- unique manifestation of his White hot righteousness, right? So we have both. We need both, right? That's the who God has revealed Himself as, right? He's loving, yes. He's gracious and merciful, yes. But He's also just, mm-hmm. right? I, I think too, like even even if you don't believe in God, th- this is the type of response that 
I think you would want. And it's just this idea of the, you know, the old George Carlin bit of like, uh, everyone who goes faster, uh, uh, than you on the highway is a maniac, but anyone who goes slower than you is crazy. <laughs> and so you have the right speed and uh, yeah, you want to have kind of the self-preservation. I, I want to be on the good side of things. And, you know, if, 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 uh, my, if I have a standard where, uh, the, my good things outweigh my bad things, I, 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 I think that should get me over the line, but I think everyone has that, <laughs> has that desire to, to put themselves like, well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I created the Holocaust, but I did a lot of good things for the arts. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know how you, how you'd measure those things, but, yeah. but yeah. I, I think everyone ultimately you, you kind of want to judge that, that has that. And, and so, uh, the, the, the qualities of God that we're putting forth that scripture provides that, that's, that's, that's the, the 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 two sides of things that we we see re, that we would want to, to have revealed he right. doesn't have to give us mercy and we'll we'll get in that a little bit here soon but that he does is amazing and the fact that he doesn't just forgive everybody is also good because it it's there's there's a standard there there's a, a quality aspect to God where he shows both a mercy and a justice right so so the so the question is why is there evil in the world and the, this answer is because God is just and he's punishing right folks for what they have done the mm-hmm. violation of his standards and that sort of thing and so it reveals his righteousness uh, and his justice.